Hello and welcome back to Europe Universalist 4. I am Lord Foran, and you're playing as the growing power of the Aztec. So we just got ourselves to five vassals again, which means we've got some reforms to pass. So we'll pass this first one, stability. There we go. Now the question is, how many vassals did we keep? We kept two. Okay. So we did take extra land last episode so we could release some of these guys to release the mixed tech we will release these guys and that gets us to four vassals so we need one more vassal in order to do this can't attack anybody for a while but no one can attack us for a little bit so we're going to pretty much drill we have low manpower, we have some debt. Let's get rid of that. We did just develop Mexico to 30 development, which helped our economy a fair amount. And I believe, yes, we still have truces with pretty much everybody around us. So we'll sit quietly for at least another three or so years, or at least one year, because then we can attack these guys. We only need one more vassal, and then we can start actually taking over Mexico. But we need to get our manpower back up to full, and that's going to take some time. At least we're getting a little bit of drill coming in. And we've got a positive economy. Um, Zakula. It's ours and always will be. There we go. We're not going to give any, not going to give any land back to our vassals at the moment. We want it ourselves. So basically, we're going to stay quiet here. Um, Colima. Nope, that was just an insult. Okay, I thought we might be able to attack them. Guess not. Well. Our doom is ticking up by two a year because actually we have so many uh, reforms passed already. So we just want to find a good heir or ruler to sacrifice here. Ten might be our best. Let's just check. There's nothing better. Fourteen. Yeah. Okay. Back down to fifteen doom. That'll help. Okay. We can go to war. Do we want to go to war? No, we actually don't want to go to war yet. They're forming a coalition against us. We're going to war. Um, even if this is a horribly disastrous dumb decision, we kind of have to go to war now before they form a coalition against us fully. Um, more than they already have. Which means I gotta hire my mercs again. Great. I just got rid of firing all my marks. Get back here. Luckily, most of their vassals should not be particularly loyal, which means I'm pretty much just fighting their one army. Or so. It's not that simple, but... Okay, uh, war taxes... I'll raise one. Oh, I can't raise another Merc unit. Okay, loan time. We'll get two more in the field. We're going to go rather into debt here, but if we finish off the all the reforms, it'll be worth it. Yeah, they've really got 10 troops invading our territory, and we got a roughly 11 to defend with. We should be able to win this. So yeah, see, they're not even venturing further into our lands. That is about the best we're going to get. They will not be a vassal just yet. That's fine. They will become a vassal eventually. Probably not until they get red on the... We don't... Willing to give up. Now, the other option is we don't vassalize them. We vassalize these guys. But I am honestly of the opinion that taking all these guys' lands might be the smartest move. Oh, general died. That's fine, we got another general. Who's just as good, arguably. 
This is where it comes down to the war. And the war is easy. Superior troops all around, basically. Uh, you know what? I'm not going to make these guys a vassal. I don't think. I think I'll just take over their lands. Since we're going to be finishing off the final one, I bet it's now time to start actually taking over lands. We've got one more reform to do, and then we don't have to deal with Doom ever again, which will be amazing. That is an issue, though. Coalitions. I do not like coalitions. Especially when they start appearing everywhere. Okay. However, I am at war with a lot of people. Okay. Still a bit in a risky position, but if we do this right, we should be okay. Obviously, the lack of any amount of manpower and the growing number of the coalition is a threat. Yeah. Gotta hurry get this thing passed. Oh, I'm about to get invaded by a cat. Where are you coming from, cat? Nope, not coming, I guess. That's fine. Um, oh, here he is. Hi, cat. You're not gonna get any attention. I'm sure you're aware of that, right? Nope, he thinks he's gonna get attention. And he's now hitting the mic, so bye-bye, kitty. Okay, cat has been dealt with. Um, we're going to siege down some of these provinces, actually, I think. Might be the smart move here. Uh, I might wait and get this idea before I put a general back in charge of my army, though. Yes. Get superior morale immensely superior morale we have unbalanced research though so we are going to have to start stop focusing military probably i think probably admin because we're going to be annexing lots of lands now good some of the other nations that were in the coalition against me are in wars with other people that's about the best i'm going to get here We want to take over lots of land. We really only need one vassal out of this whole war. But we don't want a coalition to attack us. Bit of a balancing act, really. Uh, let's see what my ruler is for general. He's okay. For now, we'll make him our general. Still losing too many troops. How big is the coalition now? Large is basically the answer. Okay, so those guys were wiped out. At this point, we're fine letting other nations wipe countries out because we're going to take it over anyway. Less enemies, the better. Let me turn that music down. It's a bit loud. But yeah. Um, Got to be careful of this debt, though. It's skyrocketing a bit. Extend the loan. No point in repaying it when it just caused me to get another one. Okay, that's done. Uh, no, we'll just go for that. Five 
of units. I can barely get a thousand with five units. Tells you how bad my manpower pool is right now. Oh, good. We got an inspiring leader. Additional five morale. Helps a bit. Now things are going to get tricky. Tanala, Otome, decline for the moment. I think we want to take over at least this area, a couple of those. Ideally, we take over all their land and just vassalize these guys because they count as a vassal. I don't know if we'll pull it off, though. Zapotec have joined. What a surprise. In some ways, my issue is I haven't let Doom get high enough so that I've been suffering more aggressive expansion. Ten. Perfect. Sacrifice that air, if you would. Get me down to zero Doom. Even once we pass all the reforms, I believe we still have to work our way down on Doom, but it's easier. Okay, what can we do here? First off, we want... We'll take Guamar as the vassal. And then I think if we do that, that might be the best we can pull off for now. Okay. We got a power we got the final reform done. Got it. How many vassals did we keep? Two. Looks like that seems to be the rule, keeping two vassals now, which is strange. Um we're gonna want native repressment in the future, because we are going to basically be trying to colonize as fast as possible for a new world nation. Just to get rid of all that unrest. We're good. Merge these two armies together. Drill. How bad are we losing cash? Badly, basically. Um, okay. We still have 25 doom, but it's not going to go up anymore. Okay. Um, who could we attack? I just want to see if we've got any truce issues going on. Coalition against me. Everybody, basically. Except for my vassals. Uh, just outraged countries for the moment. We're going to have to sit here and hopefully we don't get attacked for a little while. Mission fulfilled. High income. Not what we need right now. Sorry. That's what I was afraid of. There's the coalition. 38,000 versus me. Okie dokie. Uh, people who did it were these guys. We'll take another loan. We'll raise some troops. This is going to be tough. Some of these guys are vassals, though. And they are disloyal vassals. So... If I am lucky, I don't have to fight all of them. Uh, the issue in some ways is going to be the Maya to the south. New air, good air, that's good. Basically, I'm going to want to charge into as many large stacks of enemies as possible early on. Stack wipes galore, hopefully. Kolima Separatists, yeah. I'll have to deal with those at some point. War taxes. Still horribly going to be in debt at the end of this. 
That's unfortunately what's going to happen. I just got to survive this coalition and we should be good. We're all marching down there, which is odd. The war score is drastically in my favor here for the moment. If I can take this fort, I may be able to get a piece out. Take this fort, maybe smash a couple armies, we might be able to pull off a white piece. Helps my allies win their fights as well. Come on, take the stupid fort. Oh my gosh. Suffering too much attrition. Seriously, Fort Fall. There we go. Close, but not yet. Okay. I don't know where their army is. You'd think it'd be on top of me already, but I guess not. Well, since I'm not getting crushed at the moment, I think I'll keep the war going a little longer. Maybe I can get a province or two out of it. Military revolts. They won't accept that because they'd lose, but they'll give me that. Okay. Punitive war, victory in my favor, which is impressive. I didn't think I'd win that. Um, of course, now we have the same issue of having to rebuild our economy, just made worse by the fact that I remember I had, had to hire more mercenaries. There we go. Ugh. Sometimes words work and other times they don't. Come on, smash those guys. There we go. I know some people would say don't raise the autonomy, but for right now, I need less rebellions. Um, aggressive expansion, justified wars. Yes, please, because I'm going to be trying to unite this area for another 25 years. We want to be basically consolidated Mexico by 1500, ideally. That way, if any of the Europeans find us early on, we have got a chance of survival. So... Looking at that, these guys are going to hate me till the end of time, which is fine because they're still going to do pay me money a little bit. Um, army maintenance is high. Yeah, I'm going to reduce army maintenance for the moment. There we go. Is this a mark unit? It is. Disband it. I'm just going to go all the way to no maintenance at the moment. Our economy is bad right now, but it should pick up once all these are cored. Because right now it's killing our income. Um, speaking of income, do we have any centers of trade? No, we actually have no centers of trade in our lands. No wonder we only have 16% of the trade in this area. Okay. Economy is picking up. We are getting some manpower. I will take a contribution from them. Don't have enough to start the last bit of coring yet, though. Although I do love the uh, 0.10 reduction in more exhaustion for the rest of the game. That will be very useful. What are the loans at? 58, 47. Okay, fair enough. Where 
repay that loan. Oh, I'd love to do that rate of return, but we can't afford it. Anywhere I can raise its autonomy? No. Okay, we're going to sit and we're going to keep waiting for a while. We actually have manpower now. But we have no money. What a typical problem. Either you have no manpower or you have no money. There doesn't seem to be a lot of in between some days. Even increasing it here, the increasing gold income is still not doing anything for me. 0.3 income a month. There we go. A little bit helps, even if it does cause more income problems down the road. We'll have to reduce uh, corruption, um, inflation next month. There we go. We're going to have quite a few states to make, which will be cool. Obviously, I'm not going to try and colonize right now, because I can't. Still got... how many? How much more money in loans? 400 in loans. It's going to be a while. Probably wasn't a smart move there, actually. Just increase the maintenance cost of this area when I was trying to decrease it. Anyway, let's turn off this, which should save me some cash. 23 gold. Yeah, there we go. That's better. Okay, good, good, good on all fronts. These guys are still going to want war with me when this is over, but that's unfortunately the case. Even these guys down here might join coalitions against me. Uh, we'll just have to hope that doesn't happen, right? Oh, you know what I could do? Let's fire this advisor. There we go. That gets me a little bit more income. They're old anyway. They've been around for like 20 years in game, so they're not going to last much longer regardless. Mixed tech won an alliance. Sure. Right now, allies are important for me. More than usual, because I'm weak. It'll take a while for us to lower this uh, autonomy. But 2.4 gold a month. Um, if I mothball this forward, it'll go a little bit faster. There we go. Three a month. And we're rooting out corruption, so once that's gone, our income will also go up. Awesome. On all fronts, we are recovering. I guess I can rival those guys. It won't help me much, but whatever. All out of my trade range. Actually, wait a second, was I? Oh, that's weird. Okay. Um, can't repay any loans yet. Next month. Oh, wait, no, we can. There we are. 350 still to go on loans. Long time. And while I could boost the gold income, it doesn't look like it'll make much difference. I mean, I'll do a little bit. Three point six. Okay, I guess it. I guess it's semi worth it. I mean, the autonomy is falling in these reasonably quickly, but it's still it's still going to take a long time. At least we got rid of Doom. We don't have to deal with that mechanic anymore.
Nine years till we can go to war with those guys. Technically, we could go to war with these guys, but we don't want to. Anyway, we've cemented ourselves as the great power of Mexico. 200 development almost. It's just a matter of holding on to it now. It'll probably take me... I'd say another 5-10 years to fully recover, unfortunately. At least we've recovered our manpower. Mostly. We could re-raise troops in the event of a war, which I guess is the big priority at the moment. Uh, I'm going to do a stability, though. There we go. Four a month. That helps. 300 gold. So... A little under 100 months. So... 10 years, almost. Sooner if we go to war and take land. Plus sooner as, uh, as the autonomy goes down. So many loans. Oh, I can get rid of those separatists, even though it does give me some... Lowers my income slightly. Getting rid of some rebels, I think, is worth it. There we go. Pay off that. Down to 243 debt. Almost five a month. Ah, loose loss of doom and an increase of stability. Lovely. Let's implement these laws immediately. Yes, please. Monthly autonomy change. For the rest of the game, faster autonomy reduction. Gimme, 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 really. That will make this so much easier. The Aztec have a lot of nice little bonuses if you wait. The issue is obviously the waiting. That and actually getting rulers that have monarch points you need rather than military. Oh, yeah, this is my ruler. I should probably replace him, to be honest. Just for now. Is that way he doesn't die due to being in charge of an army? Because he's a pretty decent ruler and his heir is half decent as well. Zero is a nine, he's an eight. That's about as good as you get. Here we go. Potential. Yep, coalition. There we go. Okay, let's hopefully we can get our numbers built up here. Uh, I'm gonna not unmothball my fort, because obviously that will be my sole little defense when the war comes. Now, the question is, can I re-raise my maintenance back to full? No. <laughs> no way. But I can start reinforcing things. My army does need reinforcements. Goal, of course, is to prevent another coalition, if at all possible. How many vassals do these guys... This guy has six vassals. Wow, he's doing really well. So he's the big threat, apparently. He and the Maya nations. There's the coalition! Okay. Um, war taxes, basically. Um... These guys are wouldn't be a threat to me in the long run, but I might as well get rid of them now because it'll get me war score and cash. I can't piece them out though. That's the guy I've got to piece out. Tonak.
And they marched right in on top of my army. Perfect. Of course, now I've got to repay the reinforcement rates, but... Come on, take the fort already. Their military tech 2, we're 4, we've got the advantage, I've just got to win with it. And hopefully this time actually eliminate some nations. Out of money, of course. Typical problems. Oh, duh. I should put the other guy in charge of this army. My king, actually. That way I don't lose as many troops in these battles. There we go. The reinforcement cost is painful. I don't have any way to get more manpower, which is also a problem. Looks like there's another war going on within a war? What's going on here? No. That's weird. Whatever. Um, I'm gonna stay on this, I guess. Our vassal is- our ally, actually, the Mixtech, are doing something. Good. I actually have a productive ally for once. I cannot tell you how many games of Europa I've played where I've had unproductive allies and it just, ugh, kills you. If I occupy his capital and other lands, this is a punitive war, which means I can't peace out anyone else, which is a problem. Sought support. Oh, that means I can get monarch points. Some, hopefully. I'm not going to try and do any more right now, because we're unbalanced as is. the situation, go further into debt basically. Okay, fully occupy that guy's lands, then hopefully smash his army here. Helps when you've got a terrain bonus and a fort. Or do something, so they're not willing to give up just yet. Come on. I've smashed your armies like five times now. It says you're making gains. I do not see these so called gains one is making. I suppose they must exist somewhere. It's not gonna work. Stack wiped. Close, but not there yet. If they can get my ally can get another fort, we should be good. There we go. They did get a fort, so what can I get? Oh! If I wipe these guys out, I believe I pick up all their vassals, so that would be cool. Either that or I free them all. Regardless, I can do that and get some cash, maybe. If I don't take that, how much cash can I get? Not a lot. Might as well take all the land I can get then. Nope, still vassals of the guy that was wiped out. Oh, no. Guamar took over. Okay. Whatever. Picked up a couple more provinces. Survived another coalition war. 
This might be my most Coalition Ward game yet. Not saying something. After my Dutch game, for sure. Got nine years, roughly, of peace before I have to worry about a war. Obviously, I've got debt to pay off. How much debt do I have? 350, so... That hurt. But I'd say we're in a better position after the war than we were before the war, so... These guys are still disloyal, but that's unlikely to change anytime soon. Although I could spend some prestige to help a bit. Since we don't have to deal with Doom again, ever again, we should, we're good on that front. Our vassals should slowly grow to like us more. Plus, I believe we picked up, yep, Center of Trade. Which means we should be getting some more money from it, yeah. There's just so many nations in this area, it's interesting to see. How many of them are an issue? This guy, if it's just the next war is me versus them, I'll easily wipe them out. So nine years. Yeah, nine years. They're all either vassals or ally of that one guy. Should be relatively easy. I'm not going to go south here until I've subdued the north. That's a lot of land for me to take over. But it's land I need. Splendor's going up, so we might be able to do war taxes, probably? We'll see. They'll definitely join a coalition, and they probably will join a coalition as well, which is going to be a problem. Plus, my ally now has control this area, which is also another issue. Whatever. Um, subject countries. We gotta start annexing these guys at some point. Veracruz, we will make you a state. We will make you a state as well. We will give this. Oh, I cannot give it to the merchant guilds. Oh, it doesn't have 10 development. I will solve that. Merchant guilds. There we go. And I can't develop it. That's fine. But it will get me more trade income. Yep. 21% of the trade in the node. That's that's looking better. Not perfect, but better. I've maxed my relationship out with these guys, which is interesting. Anyway, that means I'm getting some money from them finally. It'll help in the long run. And you know what, I'll leave a little bit just to sum this and reinforce. Tech-wise, we're getting somewhere, finally. Uh, war taxes. Yeah, war taxes. I would do, like, colonization, but it wouldn't help much. We're probably not even going to get a colony going before 1500. Okay, anyway, we need to stop this here. I didn't realize I'd gone this long. So, uh, basically, we're on the route to consolidating most of this area around 1500-ish. We've dealt with that doom. We've still got a military tech advantage. Basically, we're in pretty good shape. So... Thank you guys all for watching. Sorry this went longer than expected. And I will see you guys all next time after I quickly do this. There we go. See you guys all next episode. Bye for now.